Hi my angels, welcome back to my channel. Last weekend I went to a family engagement and decided to do another Indian get ready with me. So if you'd like to see how I got this hair and makeup and the jewellery and things that I am wearing, then let's get straight to it. I started off by cleansing my skin with the Hot Cloth Cleanser and Gentle Exfoliator from Liz Earl because this gives my skin such a good base for my makeup. So for hair I'm using the Numi 5-in-1 Lustrum Curling Wand and I'm using the thickest wand in the set and curling my hair away from my face and I'm basically leaving it on for about 10 seconds and then wrapping that curl around my fingers and then pinning them up like you can see here. And I'm basically repeating the entire same thing to my whole head. I did one side first and started from the bottom and worked my way up but I left the crown section as I was going to do that right at the end. I actually wore my hair quite a lot like this in my last November, no not November sorry, my October vlog. So when my hair was like big and wavy and curly this is how I did it. Um, if you would like an in-depth kind of video on this then please let me know and I will try and film one for you guys. But yep, I'm just doing the same exact thing on the other side of my head, leaving it on for about 10 minutes. And I did add some heat protectant before I did my hair, so don't worry. I used the Tresemme heat protectant um, in all of my hair. And this is how I did the top half, so I did it in like long sections. And now it's time for the makeup. My eyebrows are already filled in and the tutorial will be linked in the info box. So first I started off by priming my eyelids with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance in Lemon Drop. And I like this because it brightens and neutralises my eyelids. I also put it on my under eyes to stop any creasing there as well. Grabbing some post-it stickies, I put these onto the outer edges of my eyes. You totally don't have to use this, you can use like a credit card or even some paper if you like. But this is just easier for me when I'm filming. And then I took Faint, which is from the Naked Basics One palette, and put that all over my eyelids. And this is just like a really, really neutral colour, which was really nice because I was going through a bit of a coloured flick eye look. For the crease, I'm going in with a bronzer, which is actually a Sephora press powder in a couple of shades darker than my skin tone, and just working that into the crease, just to give my eyes a bit more dimension. Oh, and I will link everything that I've used in this tutorial in the info box, so please don't forget to check that out. And now for the highlight for my eyes, I used my favourite Mary Luminizer powder and just applied that onto my brow bone. My Indian outfit actually had some cobalt blue in it, so I took Chaos, which is from the Urban Decay Electric Palette, and I started lining my eyes like you can see here and blending it in to my eyelid just so it looks like a flick um, like an eyeliner flick and I'm really working the colour in and building the colour up to exactly how much I wanted it. You don't want to go too far into your eyelid with this colour because you want it to look like it's a coloured um, eyeliner flick type thing. And just to darken that up a little bit I'm using Contrast which is a shade from MAC and just going over the outer parts of that just so that it's not like a flat blue colour. What's the word that I'm looking for? Um, yeah, um, it's got like a bit of like a gradient to it so it's not just like all one colour. Now it's time to take the stickies off and like you can see here I'm going to go and line my top lines. Top lines? My top um, lash line. And I'm just going in with like just your normal cat eye flick and it's quite good because you can just follow the line that we created previously so it's kind of like a guide. And then taking Perversion by Urban Decay I'm doing the usual tight lining of my upper um, waterline and try and sharpen the pencil because I really just poked my eyeball there. <laughs> Here I've just added a little bit of the bronzer into the crease just to warm it up a slight bit. And then taking this Makeup Forever mascara, I'm going to be curling my eyelashes one by one and then applying the mascara onto them. So I actually find that this works a lot better than curling your eyelashes and then putting mascara on them afterwards because your eyelashes are, like, are almost freshly curled so they look much better. And the curlers totally took some eyeliner off so I'm just fixing that up here so that there's no like random gaps in it. 
As you can probably see, I've got some kind of breakouts on my chin area, so I'm using this MUA Pro Base and using the green shade just to neutralize any redness in that area. I know it looks really random, but when we go in with the Face and Body Foundation by MAC and the L'Oreal Magic Lumi, and putting that on with a beauty blender, it really hides any kind of redness in that area. So I love doing this whenever I get out with like a random breakout. It's a really nice way of covering them up. So under concealing and highlighting, I'm using my favourite combo, the Kevin Kwan Central Skin Enhancer and the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. And lots of people ask me how I use this, so I twist it up and then I literally dip it into the pot. Um, so I thought I'd show you because I do get lots of questions on it and then I'm applying it in the usual triangle shape underneath my eyes on my chin down the center of my nose my cupid's bow and also my forehead and then I'm not forgetting the parts just above my jawline just to highlight that because we are going to do some contouring and then just blending that all in with my beauty blender again a lot of people ask me how I use the Beauty Blender and I use it damp, so it's big, damp, wet and spongy and it blends amazingly. And then I use the Banana Powder by Ben Nye just to set the areas that we highlighted. And this has to be my favourite setting powder because nothing creases. So for a contour I'm using this Makeup Revolution Matte Blush Stick in the shade Malibu and I'm getting a concealer brush and then just drawing the areas that I want to contour. So these are the hollows of my cheeks, my hairline and my jawline. And then blending that all in with a beauty blender and this is the first time me using this and I really really enjoyed using this blush stick as a contour. It's really easy to blend and it looks really really good on the skin. And then for bronzer I'm using the Too, Too Faced <laughs> the Too Faced bronzer and this is in the shade Milk Chocolate because I didn't want something too dark. Um, but I wanted it to look nice and golden and sun-kissed. Just so that the bronzer wasn't looking too warm on my skin, I did go in with a little bit of the Revolution Delicious eyeshadow just to cool it up a little bit. And because I guess you could say I'm a little bit obsessed with this contour shade. <laughs> and then I used a nude eyeliner by Rimmel and lined my lower lash line. I was about to say waterline just then. No wait, it is waterline. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I lined my lower waterline with that. And then took the same Sephora bronzed um, powder. Oh my god, I really cannot talk today. That same Sephora pressed powder and then I'm just lining my lower lash lines with this. And then going in with the same Makeup Forever mascara and then putting that onto my bottom lashes. And because my outfit is pink, I wanted to go in with the Clinique Berry Pop blusher and I'm just applying that onto the apples of my cheeks and I love this colour because it's just the right amount of bright pink on your cheeks, especially for winter. And then for highlights I'm using my Mary Luminizer again and just applying that on to the high points of my cheeks. So first on my lips I use the Melted Too Faced Liquid Lipstick in the shade Fig and just put that all over my lips and then blended it with my finger because I didn't want it to be too much of a opaque colour. And that's because I was going to add some Candy Yum Yum by MAC on top and I'm just putting that into the centre part of my lips and again blending that in because I did not want it to be too bright because I did have colour going on on my eyelids. I then popped on a navy blue bindi to match my eyes. And then last but not least to finish my makeup off, I set my face with the Tarte Setting Powder. Now that the makeup is done, it was time to take all of the grips out of my hair. And all I did here was I started from the bottom and started taking all of the grips out and working my way up all the way to the top. The curls are really curly, but then after about an hour or so they do drop and it just looks like you've had a big bouncy blow dry. So it's one really quick and easy way to cheat and do a DIY blow dry at home without actually having to blow dry your hair. <laughs> and 
And then right at the end, once I'd taken all of the grips out, I ran my fingers through it just so that the hair was nicely blended together and it was looking really, really, really big. Um, so just before I finished off, I added some of the Kerastase Elixir Ultimate into the mid-length and ends of my hair just so that it was a nice and glossy looking and it didn't have any kind of frizzy parts either. And yeah, it just looks nice and silky once that's been put in. I decided to only wear earrings and I wore these beautiful, beautiful earrings from India Trend and they are quite heavy but they are so stunning. So I wore those for my earrings and then I just mixed random bangles that I had and put them on one hand. And in case you were wondering, my outfit is also from Anoki in Leicester. And that's the final look you guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video as always. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see more Get Ready With Me's and Indian Get Ready With Me's. But until next time guys, I will see you all in my next video and I will see you soon. Bye!